Hi everyone, welcome to the second video on my channel. This is my first time attempting a voiceover ever, so I hope everything runs smoothly. This channel will be the first time in a very long time that I've attempted any sort of video editing, and I welcome any constructive feedback. In this video, I'll be putting together a 500 piece puzzle by the brand Seco Puzzles. It came in a set of 8 puzzles and I purchased it from the Calendar Club website. And links to both Seco Puzzles' website and the Calendar Club website will be included in the description box of the video, along with my Instagram handle and information about the music in this video. Without further ado, I'll let you know a little bit more about what I'm doing and I'll come back at the end for my outro. So, in this clip, I have sorted all of the edge pieces while simultaneously flipping all the inside pieces so that they're face up and then I put all the edge pieces so that they're facing the same way and this just kind of makes it a little bit easier to tell which pieces go beside each other because they're all facing the same way and once I'm confident I know where a section of pieces will go I will um, position it, rotate it, and attach it where it needs to be. So from here on out it's just kind of more of that I'm gonna just speed up the video until the end, last few pieces, and then I'll come back for my outro. jumping around a bit from section to section instead of finishing off one at a time. This is because some of the blues, greens, and pinks look similar to each other and I would sometimes get stuck. My strategy for this puzzle was to get as much of a color done as I could just by fishing around in the pile. Because color is the main thing to work off of in this puzzle, it was really the only way to tackle it. I didn't feel the need to sort uh, the pieces in this particular puzzle because there were only 500, but I would for anything larger than that.
the end now. And as you can see, this was such a colorful puzzle. Colors are so bright and saturated and the image is just really pleasant to look at. I love color, so puzzles like this are my absolute favorite to do. Um, so when I'm done completing the rest of the puzzles in the series, I might put together a review of my thoughts on them as a whole and Seiko as a brand. So I'll just end the video here. Stay tuned right till the end and see me destroy the puzzle. And if you like this video, please drop me a like and a comment and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.